Hello everyone on this beautiful early evening on October 1st. I'm so happy to welcome you to this most special event. I'm Patty Prelock, Provost and Senior Vice President of the University of Vermont, and I'm pleased to welcome you today to one of the most revered traditions we have at UVM, the Endowed Faculty Investiture Ceremony. While I sincerely wish we could gather together in person for this special event, I know you all appreciate how important it is to maintain the health of our entire UVM community. Luckily, technology enables us to gather together in this new way and even allows guests from far away to join us with ease. Today, we have the pleasure of recognizing and celebrating an outstanding faculty member. In just a few moments, Dr. Dita Sharma will be formally invested as the inaugural Schlesinger Grossman Chair of Family Business. We are privileged to have a number of special guests from around the country and beyond. Joining us here to mark this special occasion, we have UVM President Suresh Garamella, and he will be speaking shortly with you. We have UVM Foundation President and CEO Shane Jacobson. And we have faculty, staff, students, and leaders from the Grossman School of Business and across campus. In addition, we're joined by members of the UVM Foundation Board of Directors and the Foundation Leadership Council, many of whom are longtime generous supporters of the Grossman School of Business in their own right. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge in particular those donors who have established endowed faculty positions in the Grossman School. David and Elizabeth Daigle, the Pizzagalli family, the Grossman Family Foundation, Don and Gabby McCree, and the late John Beckley. But today, we're here to honor and thank Steve Schlesinger, UVM Class of 1983, and Stephen Grossman, UVM Class of 1961 and of course the Grossman Family Foundation. Their generous gifts have made the Schlesinger Grossman Chair Family Business possible, and we are deeply grateful. Thanks to them, UVM students will always be able to learn from a truly outstanding scholar whose teaching and research will enhance the Grossman School's academic credentials in the field of family business. Dr. Sharma is but the first of what will be a very long line of Schlesinger Grossman chairs. Over the years, the holders of this position will influence hundreds of lives through their teaching, their mentoring, their research, and their collaborative work. We are very fortunate that two alumni graduating over 20 years apart, but who share a passionate commitment to family business and entrepreneurship came together to endow the Schlesinger Grossman Chair of Family Business. Stephen Grossman graduated from UVM with a BS in Manufacturing and Management Engineering in 1961. He joined his family's business, Southern Container Corporation, leading it to become the largest independent corrugated box manufacturer in the country before selling it in 2008. Upon the sale of Southern Container, Stephen established the Grossman Family Foundation, which in UVM's last campaign made the historic $25 million gift to support the business school. UVM honored this gift by naming the business school the Grossman School of Business. As a result of this gift, the Grossman School has become one of the top undergraduate business schools in the nation. Its Sustainable Innovation MBA program has been ranked the number one green MBA program by Princeton Review three years in a row, and number four in the prestigious Corporate Knights Better World MBA programs ranking. In January 2020, when the new positive impact ratings were released at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, the Grossman School was ranked in the top nine business schools internationally and one of only three in the United States as having the highest positive societal impact. Besides providing generous financial support, Stephen Grossman has served as a volunteer for UVM, most notably as a founding member of the UVM Foundation Board of Directors from 2012 to 2018. Now let's talk about Steve Schlesinger. 
and he graduated from UVM with a BS in biochemical science in 1983, and in 1985 joined the Schlesinger Group, which had been founded by his mother, Sarah, in the 1960s. Under his leadership, the Schlesinger Group has built a reputation as one of the largest and most innovative research service companies in the world, with offices in the United States, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, and Spain. In his 37-year career as an entrepreneur, Steve has created a thriving family business that continues to expand globally. Steve was a charter member of the UVM Foundation's Leadership Council, and he has served as a judge on the Grossman School of Business Family Business Awards Committee. In 2016, the Schlesinger Group received the Grossman School Multi-Gen Global Enterprise Family Business Award. In addition to making a gift to help establish the Schlesinger Grossman Chair of Family Business, Steve and his family have made a major philanthropic commitment to support UVM's Family Enterprise Case Competition, the premier family business case competition in the world, and is quite impressive as I've attended those. Steve recognizes that the Grossman School has earned a reputation as one of the nation's most distinguished business schools in the areas of family business and entrepreneurship. When they met for the first time in August 2019, Steve and Stephen immediately recognized their shared passion for family business and entrepreneurship. They agreed to join forces and they each made generous gifts that along with the support from the Grossman Family Foundation has now established the Schlesinger Grossman Chair of Family Business, the fifth endowed chair in business education at the University of Vermont. I would like to acknowledge the work of the University of Vermont Foundation in helping these donors make this possible. The foundation has been a tremendous ally in the university's and the Grossman School's efforts to strengthen our faculty, our programs, and our facilities through private philanthropy. Significantly, the foundation team has helped donors like Steve, Stephen, and the Grossman Family Foundation establish many new endowed faculty positions. Today, the university boasts 125 endowed chairs and professorships, many of which are associated with the Grossman School of Business. And we are extremely proud to welcome Dr. Sharma to that extreme, extinct group today. For several years now, the University of Vermont has paid special tribute to the outstanding scholars, researchers, and teachers who have served as endowed chairs and professors. As we honor Dr. Sharma today, we embrace a symbolic tradition dating back to the Middle Ages when early European universities honored their scholars with elaborate rites of investiture. At UVM, these ceremonies acknowledge and highlight the stature of the newly endowed positions and celebrate the significant accomplishments and promising future of the recipients. Appointment to an endowed position is among the highest academic honors the University of Vermont can bestow on a faculty member allowing the university to recognize and celebrate academic achievement and to further encourage scholarly and service excellence. Endowed professorships and chairs are also important in recruiting and retaining the most creative researchers, the most effective teachers, and the best collaborators. Exceptional faculty members like Dita Sharma in turn create a dynamic and engaging academic environment that attracts outstanding students and peers. Finally, the resources that these endowments generate help named professors and chairs expand the frontiers of their research, enhance their teaching, and foster their increased collaborations. For all of these reasons, on behalf of the entire university, we are tremendously grateful for these gifts. At this time, it's my great pleasure to introduce President Suresh Garamella to offer his thoughts. Please join me in welcoming Suresh. Thank you, Provost Prelak. Uh, what, a, what a wonderful day. We, I, I just thank all of you for being here today 
to share your support for this outstanding faculty colleague and to celebrate the vision and generosity of Steve Schlesinger, Stephen Grossman, and the Grossman Family Foundation. I've had the pleasure of interacting with, with these wonderful donors, and um, I, I just thank them from the bottom of my heart. As president of UVM, it's my privilege to take part in this academic tradition, which Patty described. And I'm pleased that we found this virtual way to recognize Dr. Pramodita Sharma for her exceptional scholarship, teaching, and service to UVM. Dr. Sharma has played an important role in establishing family business research in this area as a management research field. In recognition of her work and the important role she plays in this area, Peter was recently named one of the top 100 family business influencers by Family Capital, a London-based publication dedicated to the global family enterprise sector. She was one of only 13 academics who made the list and one of four from the United States, the others being from MIT, NYU, and the Kellogg School at Northwestern. I think the other three were very proud to be part of the list now that Pramodita is on it. Great group. And she's here teaching our students at the Grossman School of Business, training the next generation of family business leaders. Dr. Sharma is part of the Grossman School's investment in the economic health and resiliency of Vermont communities and communities around the country and throughout the world. This is one of the most important and visible ways that UVM fulfills its mission of service as a land-grant university and represents a core component of amplifying our impact, which is our strategic vision for the university. Exceptional faculty, including our endowed chairs and professors, are critical to achieving virtually every aspect of amplifying our impact. Our remarkable people are UVM's most valuable asset. As president, I will do everything I can to increase the support for faculty like Dr. Sharma and for the Grossman School of Business. Dr. Sharma, you are an outstanding member of the UVM family, and I'm so happy to welcome you to our growing ranks of endowed professors and chairs. Congratulations again. I'd like to now invite Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs, Jim Vigoro, to take the spotlight and tell us a bit more about Dr. Sharma. Jim. Thank you, President Garamella. It is a pleasure to be here joining you all in thanking our donors and celebrating Dr. Sharma as the first Schlesinger Grossman Chair of Family Business. World Class Business School, like the Grossman School, are built from three primary ingredients. Outstanding faculty who are renowned for their research and thought leadership, innovative and distinctive programs that are academically rigorous, include substantial experiential components and are always relevant for business needs, and engage enthusiastic students who strive for excellence. These three factors are deeply connected and interrelated. Steve Flessinger, Stephen Grossman, and the Grossman Family Foundation have chosen to further reinforce these connections and help enhance the intellectual depth and global reputation of the Grossman School for decades to come. As the inaugural holder of the Schlesinger Grossman Chair, I believe that Dr. Sharma truly embodies their highest hopes and intentions. Dr. Sharma earned her Master's of Business Administration from Punjab Agricultural University and her PhD in Entrepreneurship and Family Business from the University of Calgary. She joined the UEM faculty in 2011 after distinguished service at Dalhousie University, Wilfrid Laurieu University, Concordia University, and Babson College. In total, her research on family enterprises have been published in over 50 articles and 10 books, and has spanned topics such as succession, governance, innovation, next generation commitment, entrepreneurial leadership, sustainability, and spirituality. In just the past five years, she has published two books, Entrepreneurs in Every Generation and Patient Capital, The Role of Family Firms in Sustainable Business. In addition, 10 articles in journals like Entrepreneurship Theory and Practice, Family Business Review, Journal of Business Ethics, 
Journal of Business Research, and Journal of Family Business Strategy. Her next book, titled Pioneering Business Families of Sustainable Development, will be released in April of 2021. From 2008 to 2017, Dr. Sharma served as the Editor-in-Chief of Family Business Review, the pioneering and leading academic journal in the field of family business. She shares the annual UVM Family Business Awards, which will be happening tomorrow, and is the co-founder of the Global Family Enterprise Case Competition that has brought together UVM students and competitors from around the world annually at UVM since 2013. Dr. Sharma is a leading expert in the field of international field of family business studies and a frequent speaker at gatherings of family business leaders around the world. She has been honored with several international awards, including prestigious Lifetime Achievement Awards, such as the Barbara Hollander Award of the Family Firm Institute and the Lifetime Influence and Impact Award of the Family Enterprise Research Conference. As President Gary Merrill noted earlier, but it's worth repeating, Family Capital has just named her one of the top 100 family business influencers in the world. Dr. Sharma holds honorary doctorates from Jokomping University in Sweden and the University of Wittenherdeke in Germany is a visiting professor at the John L. Ward Center for Family Enterprise at Kellogg School of Management and the Senior Research Fellow at the Thomas Chimitney Center of Family Enterprise at the Indian School of Business. In addition to all of this, she takes her role as an educator and mentor at UVM very seriously. She understands that professors like herself are in a position of great privilege and responsibility because, as she puts it, even a brief sentence from them can alter the minds and thoughts of students. In everything she does, Dr. Sharma tries to enhance their critical thinking skills and confidence. This can be seen in every course she teaches, in the Family Enterprise Case Competition, and in her role as advisor to the Family Business Club. Dr. Sharma brings the same sense of commitment to the UVM community. She believes, rightly, that faculty contributions to university life and governance are vital, not only because faculty have strong connections with students, but because they have chosen to devote their careers to the growth and development of the next generation. Taking all of this together, without question, the University of Vermont is deeply fortunate to have Dr. Sharma as the member of the Grossman School of Business faculty and the holder of the new Schlesinger Grossman Chair. Congratulations again. Thank you, Jim. So we are now going to present Dr. Sharma with a medallion that marks the occasion and signifies her status as the holder of an endowed faculty position. We hope she will wear it with her academic regalia at commencement and other official university functions. The donors have also been presented with replicas of the Grossman, uh, Schlesinger Grossman Chair Medallion as a token of our appreciation. And it looks like this. So this is the time we've been waiting for. And Dr. Pramadita Sharma, are you ready to receive your medallion? I'm going to read a citation um, before I send it to you virtually. Dr. Pramadita Sharma embodies the Grossman School of Business's passion to help build better organizations and a better society. And we are so proud to count her among our faculty. She is a quintessential teacher scholar whose research and scholarship inform and enrich her teaching and mentorship. Dr. Sharma is an outstanding scholar and teacher her work brings great distinction to the Grossman School of Business at the University of Vermont. Dr. Sharma, as the inaugural Schlesinger Grossman Chair of Family Business, we honor you today with this medallion and may it serve you as an enduring symbol of the excellence that you strive to achieve in all aspects of your life. 
Dr. Sharma, please share your reflections. Thank you, Provost Prelock, President Garimala, and Vice Provost Vigoro. Mr. St Steve Schlesinger and Mr. Steve Grossman, Stephen Grossman. Thank you for seeing the extraordinary in the ordinary me. Colleagues, friends, and family. This moment is special because you're here. Thank you. In a few moments, in a few minutes, I'll try to provide a snapshot of the role of family business in my personal and professional life. I spent the first two decades of my life with entrepreneurs who ran small to mid-sized businesses in India. Some manufactured everyday products, others stored and distributed them. Items ranged from automobiles to construction materials, body care products to electronics, agricultural products to pharmaceutical, and the list goes on. My grandfather was a trusted advisor for many business leaders. He was often invited to share his thoughts on matters of great significance to other enterprising families. When time permitted, he let me tag along. Silence and observation were expected of me. On our way back, he would be curious to learn what I saw and heard and what I thought of it. I'd always have a theory or two. At times we agreed, but not always. Unknown to me, at that time, I was learning about the dynamics of family businesses. My father who ran some of these businesses was my first academic cheerleader. He framed math and science problems as games of logic, the natural outcome of which was 100% in exams. If I would miss a few points, he would wonder how those points slipped away from us. Together, we would strategize how to master this game. As I entered grade five, he felt it was time for me to take charge of bookkeeping in one small business of ours. I can still smell my first ledger and cash book. We would work together on Sunday mornings to enter the vouchers and balance the books. He would compliment my quick learning attention to detail and pearl-like printing. Encouraged, I continued. Alas, his time on earth was limited and he had to leave when I was only 15. Somehow, I felt ready for the business world. My mother, a pious lady with a brilliant mind and a kind heart, reminds us to pray for peace and happiness of all as that fuels our lives. In my 20s, I viewed family business as an outsider, first as a banker in India, and then as a marketing expert at, for UNICEF in Africa. I vicariously lived the role of non-family top executive in multinational family businesses through my husband and life partner, Sanjay Sharma. In early 30s, during my doctoral studies at the University of Calgary, Professors Jim Chrisman and Jess Chua, among many remarkable other scholars, helped me to add an academic voice to my thoughts and experiences. They introduced me to the toolkit of a social scientist and showed me what dedicated scholarship means. Jim, Jess, thank you. My dissertation focused on succession in Canadian family businesses. Boomers who founded some remarkable family enterprises that provided livelihood to many Canadians were beginning to consider retirement. Research suggested that neither the senior nor the junior generations were ready for this transition. Urgent calls were made to build usable knowledge to save our economy and society from massive failures due to this inevitable transition. My scholarly journey continued from succession to commitment to, into next generation and entrepreneurship, and most recently, sustainability and family business. 
Fast forward a couple of decades. In 2011, I joined the University of Vermont, a research-focused comprehensive university founded in 1791. In 2015, our school was renamed the Grossman School of Business to honor the wisdom and generosity of a brilliant third generation family business leader, Mr. Stephen Grossman, who grew his family's business substantially before its sale. At the Grossman School, every day, we walk the corridors of Calkin and Ifshan Halls, named after two smart families, while all our celebrations take place in Keller Room, named yet after another benevolent family. In 2012, we launched our annual Family Business Awards, and a year later, we started our Global Family Enterprise Case Competition. Mr. Stephen Grossman had a subtle yet profound influence on both these initiatives. Tomorrow at 3 p.m., we celebrate the ninth edition of our Family Business Awards, honoring the life's work of four family enterprises run by UVM alums. As Provost Prelock mentioned, the Schlesinger family won this honor in 2016. And Mr. Steve Schlesinger has been our lead judge ever since. Thank you, Steve. Tomorrow, we also launch the eighth edition of our Family Enterprise Case Competition, when my colleague and co-chair, Professor Thomas Chittenden, sends the first case to competitor in over 30 institutions. Professor Rocky Lee DeWitt has always supported this competition by serving as our link with the case selection team led this year by Dean Mira Blumen Bex of Netherlands. Over the years, more than 50 universities and 400 judges from six continents have participated in this event. About 300 Grossman students have been organizers or competitors. The 2021 organizing team consists of eight fine undergraduate students, and two of our teams will compete at graduate and undergraduate levels. This competition has placed our school on the family business education map. As President Karimala mentioned, we, were, we are placed in one of the 25 best schools in the world for family business education. In 2019, Professor Sanjay Sharma, a sustainability scholar, and I released our first research monograph on family business and sustainability with the Cambridge University Press. Our next book will appear in April 2021. We are extremely proud to bring these two important and fast growing fields of study together as both look for high economic and social performance simultaneously. Mr. Schlesinger and Mr. Grossman, we at the Grossman School of Business aspire to become the world's leading institution for research and education on family business and sustainability. Thanks to my colleagues, we've already begun this journey and with your generous support, we will get there faster. Thank you. Or Guria, Sanjay, it all is because of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dita, for sharing your inspiring personal and professional journey to family business. You are amazing. Congratulations again. It is now my honor to invite Steve Schlesinger, UVM class of 1983, to say a few words. Thank you, Patty. It is great to be here today celebrating the investiture of the Schlesinger Grossman Chair of Family Business. My name is Steve Schlesinger, a 1983 graduate of UVM and the CEO of Schlesinger Group. I am joined today by my family, including my wife, Ava, my two children, Brianna and Skyler, and their partners, Cooper Fellows and Mary Jo Araya. I also am joined by my brother, Howard, my sisters, Judy and Debbie, who have all been a part of our family business. 
UVM has always had a special place in my heart. I had a great undergraduate experience there from 1979 to 1983, filled with wonderful experiences that helped form my journey over the next four decades. I continued my connection to UVM, hosting incoming freshman receptions with a good friend of mine, Michael Bergman, class of 1988. We did this a bunch of years. It was a great way for us to give back to the UVM community, stay connected to UVM, and most important, provide a great transition for high school students to start their experiences at UVM. About 10 years ago, through the suggestion of Sarah Sprayhagen, I started to get more involved with the Grossman School of Business at UVM. One of the main drivers of this introduction was to find connection with UVM that spoke to my passion around business and more specifically family business and entrepreneurship. It was at that time that I started to get to know Dean Sanjay Sharma. We started with breakfasts in New York and that soon evolved to more involved conversations around the initiatives at UVM around family business, specifically the Family Business Awards Program and the Family Enterprise Case Competition. As I con continued to get more engaged with the UVM Business School community, I wanted to do something more to create a lasting legacy around family business. My company was started by my mother, Sarah Schlesinger, back in 1966, and has had three generations of family members involved in the business over the past 50 plus years. My family, including my children and my brother and my sisters, were also very passionate about this idea. I was introduced to Stephen Grossman by Sarah and Kathleen Kelleher, and we spent some time talking about what we could do to really push this initiative at UVM. Stephen has been a steadfast supporter of putting UVM's business school on the map, now the Grossman School of Business. Stephen's philanthropy and vision is inspiring, and I personally feel fortunate to be leading this investiture with his unwavering support. The Chair of Family Business, business at the Grossman School of Business will be focused on bringing attention to all the dynamics and importance of family business globally. Family businesses are unique in their own regard make up quite a large portion of the businesses that drive the global economies for many generations. And this dynamic will only continue into the future. I'm so excited to be part of this initiative at UVM and even more excited to have P Professor Dita Sharma be the first recipient of the Schlesinger Grossman Chair of Family Business. Dita has a great passion for family business and I know she will lead the way and continue to be a strong leader in understanding the world of family business. I want to thank all those in the UVM community for attending today's investiture. I personally look forward to my continued engagement with the Grossman School of Business at UVM, and I hope this is just the start of great things to come in the area of family business at UVM. Thank you. Thank you so much, Steve, for sharing your family business story and showing us the power of philanthropy and collaborating with other funders to make a difference. Just wonderful remarks. As we reach the end of our time together, I would like to thank the speakers who've joined me this afternoon and say again how deeply grateful we are to Steve Schlesinger, Stephen Grossman, and the Grossman Family Foundation for their far-sighted and generous philanthropy. We all take pride every day in the important teaching, scholarship, and research that our Grossman School of Business faculty members carry out. So much of the work they do is enriched by the support of the university's donors and advocates, including many people watching today. Thank you all for that. So this concludes our program. I'm sorry we can't be there, Dita, to just give you a great big hug and to shake your hand and Steve and Stevens, but thank you for attending this special ceremony to honor Dr. Sharma. We do have the Q&A section open if you want to send a message to Dita or send her an email. I'm sure she'd appreciate that. Many thanks to our incredible donors. I hope that soon we will all be able to gather together in person. I appreciate you coming together from across the country today. Please stay well and stay safe. Thank you.